April, the widow of a New York City firefighter is fighting to have his drowning death linked to the illnesses that he developed from his hours of service at Ground Zero. If she succeeds, she would be eligible for his full pension and medical benefits, and the case would set a precedent for other first responders. Joining us this morning is his wife, Jackie Cat Fernandez, and her lawyer, Chet Lukaziski. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank, Thank you for having Mrs. us. Mrs. Fernandez, let, let's talk about your husband. Handsome man, strong guy, 52 years old, right? Yes. Worked at Ground Zero for about 10 months, on and off, working in the pile in the recovery efforts. Correct. Did he get sick after that? It's, it was slow. It started with the acid reflux. We thought it was an ulcer. We went to the doctor and it was acid reflux, so they put him on the medication. Then little by little, he started getting the other things, the sinus problems, the rashes, the burning eyes, the, um, uh, he had dental problems, all kinds of things starting to come up. And we didn't know. The, the pollen count, we just thought he was having severe sinus problems. The pollen count was up to 1,700. The doctors did test. But I think because he ran nine New York City marathons, he was very athletic, always kept in shape. He was so above average health-wise that probably was what was not his norm was still above average so, for the average person. So you guys moved, uh, what, in what, 2002? We went down to Florida in 2003. 2003, and everything was fine. He was retired from the force. Correct. And then what happened? Tell us about, uh, unfortunately, that tragic day. Um, the day that it happened, we went to the beach with our family, and um, my nephew was visiting. He was 11 years old, and they were doing, um, they were on boogie boards in the ocean, and um, he said they were coming in for lunch and turned around, and Uncle Tony was face down in the water with bubbles, and he went back, and Tony used to wear one of the bands that all the guys wear with the men he lost, 9-11. And my 11-year-old nephew held on to his bracelet and held on to that band until surfers could get him in and the lifeguards could get him in. And um, they, you know, we did CPR on the beach, and he just never regained consciousness. Now, my experts who, I had my own doctors, but my experts have all said he suffered a massive heart attack, but it didn't follow the pattern of a normal heart attack. It, his lungs were so damaged, the autopsy report came back that he had anthracosis, which, which is, is coal miner's lung. And he's never worked in a coal mine, right? No. And because he was a marathon runner, they said there is no way that a man of that athletic ability would have lungs that look like that. Chet, why is this important? possible now to get her, you know, uh, full pension benefits. I mean, it seems like it is a 9-11 related disease or illness. Why is this so hard to link the two together? It really shouldn't be. Um, and with the recent court decision from the appellate division, hopefully it's going to happen. I think Where are you with the, in the appellate division We right just now? won an appellate division second part decision. Yes. The case has been sent back to the fire pension fund and now we're waiting hopefully for a reconsideration quickly. Basically what happened is they tried to oversimplify a really complex matter. Um, all the toxins, when they're going to a human body, it's going to affect people in different ways. And this happened early on, I guess, in the progression. Now we know more, we've seen more. So when she first came and asked, and I wasn't her attorney at that time, the fund basically said, well, it was either a regular heart attack or it was a drowning. We don't want to hear about this ABC connection. We don't want to hear about anthracosis. Mm -hmm go away. And she wouldn't go away. And now, thankfully, the courts have given another opportunity for the fund to really look at the um, very strong evidence that she has that makes the causal connection. All right. The New York City Law Department has issued a statement to us. While the city appreciates Mr. Fernandez's long-standing dedication, we do not believe that the link between his tragic passing and his September 11th service was established. We are confident that the court will agree once more information is once more information is provided. Mrs. Fernandez, how important is it to you right now? How are you and your family doing financially? Do you need this, the, you know, the pension and the medical benefits from your husband? It's, uh, you know, it's not about the money for me. It's to have one person say, your husband died a hero. It's for his children, his grandchildren. He didn't walk his daughter down the aisle this year when she got married. He just had his first grandchild born. And I just want one person to say, yes, it, 
it was due to 9-11. It was due to his service down there. His lungs were damaged. It caused his heart to be damaged. This is a man who ran nine New York City marathons. Your health just doesn't turn a 180 degree. At 52. At 52, in great shape at that short of time. And you don't have lungs that look the way his lungs did with all the soot and debris inside even being a firefighter, and I had it documented. Jackie sought out biochemists, toxicologists. As much as they want to simplify this, it's not simple. The way the organs shut down, and there's medical proof there was a causal connection, and that's what the World Trade Center law is supposed to provide, a benefit so what's for those the, left behind. So what's the next step? The next step, hopefully, the city law department could try and appeal to the Court of Appeals but generally cases before the Court of Appeals affect a greater good. This is very case specific, very fact specific. Hopefully again, that won't happen. They'll take the case back and they'll reconsider it in keeping with the appellate division's language, which was very strong, very pointed, mm -hmm. and said her experts and their medical opinions and their medical diagnoses have to be considered, which they just weren't the first time around. All right, well, thank you so much for coming on Good Day New York and telling us your story. We wish you and your family the very best. Thank you so much. All right, Jackie Cat Fernandez and Chet Lukaziski, thank you so much Thanks for being for here. Good day, coming right back.